Uh, let's see. Virtualization setup first. I, you know, it's been a little bit since I've set up virtualization, but Rocky Linux is really meant for virtualization. Uh, so it should be relatively easily done. But I'm going to look at my QEMU setup for it because I want to say I did it in Arch Linux, Debian Linux. Was there another? Yeah, this is just uh, setting up like a Windows inside of it. We have Debian and Arch we could look at. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Let's let's get a quick display on the rice. I, I agree 100%. So what we're dealing with right now as our base is this. We're doing Rocky Linux, but there's a ton of Nix packages here. And Nix has just unbelievably become almost a crutch for me where I'm like, oh, nothing's working in this one. Oh, well, we'll just use a Nix environment and toss all the packages in there. <laughs> and it's just been so much, such a such a clutch tool to have. So if you haven't used Nix, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> and then a couple flat packs. But yeah, we're doing a window manager, BSPWM. Uh, terminal is Kitty. This is themed out using my GitHub, Chris Titus Tech, my bash. And we're using like the ooh bar up a top, which definitely needs a lot of work, which we already touched on. Uh, and that's about it. 5.14 kernel, stable release of Rocky. It's not going to break anytime soon. Uh, we still are going to swap this out with a 2080. I was hoping to do that on today's stream, but alas, the 2080 hasn't come in. So eBay's a running a little bit behind. Hopefully it's okay. So we'll see. Yeah. Whew. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's just see what we can do here. As far as packages for QEMU, this is what it would be on Debian. I bet someone's already done a, let's say, a QEMU setup for RHEL. Probably be the easiest thing. Uh, we probably could do... Computers for Geeks is usually pretty good. Typically, you always want a cat just to make sure, you know, this is all set up right. Can you not copy this? Really? Let's see. Okay, that's oh, there. Yeah, we definitely have SVM going, so we're good. Uh, you could do grep virtualization. I don't think this will be a VT, but let's see. Yeah, it should be like uh, AMDV, so that's good. Oh, they have a group, a virtualization group. Now, I don't think this is going to work on RHEL 9, which, here, let me move it over here. I don't think this is going to work on RHEL 9, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we can try it. We'll just do an update, which we could just do DNF update. Sure, update our DKMS. We probably need to uninstall those uh, AMD drivers as well. Uh, let's see, DNF group list or search. We got our groups. We go sudo DNF group list. Let's see what groups we have. Virtualization host, I think, is probably what we want to do. So the new syntax should be uh, group install. And then let's just do quotes grab virtualization host like that. And that should grab all of the stuff we need uh, to host virtualization on this machine. Yeah, well, it's Rocky, so it's Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Rocky is a one-to-one -one bug replication of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So let's see if we can grab our useful tools. This site, I tell you, they need to fix their code blocks it is just awful. Like, what the hell? How do you put this in a code block and just have it this terrible? They should be ashamed of themselves. I'm just saying. It's just bonkers to me installing that. All right, so we got we did get some other stuff there. Then we'll just grab the libvert D. That'll enable that daemon. We need a uh, vert manager. Be easier if I just typed it out. 
Burt Manager, create a VM instance, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a pretty good guide. Not bad. Couple deviations with uh, Rail 9. I'll I'll have to make a draw up a line on my on my site here. So yeah, <laughs> no beginners start with Debian in my opinion. I agree with that statement. Debian's not a great start for a beginner. Mint is usually my recommendation. Mint's just such a good starting point. Let's just launch into Vert Manager. How's that look? All right, we got a couple things we need to do. You see that prompt? I don't like that prompt. Let's look at our groups. You can see we just have Titus Wheel, but there is other groups that we need to specify. And I actually closed the site one, which we could use some of these commands. Down towards the bottom, you can see, first thing, probably setting net start to default is a good thing. Uh, let's just copy that. And then we can do a verse netlist all. You can see it's active, auto start, and persistent. This just makes sure we have network available for our virtual machines. And as far as this, we're adding all these groups and just making sure our user has capabilities of messing with input. Disk, KVM, and libvert. I think libvert and libvert-qme might be the same thing, but we should be able to uh, put all that in. Uh, yeah, QMU does not exist for the group name, but as far as groups, it's not going to reflect that until we do a log out and log back in. But this should now be set up pretty good. Uh, let's just close that. And I think, yeah, let's, we're going to have to do a log back in, but I'll just show you vert manager. It does launch okay now. That should be fine. I want to also probably use that. So I, as far as rel virtualization setup, we're done. This is this is it. So we've added all the groups. We've specified the auto start for the network. We've installed all the virtualization packages, and then we use virtual machine as a front end. Now, if you're in Debian, you can do some other stuff with like quick EMU. Check out the video I did on that. But other than that, we're good on virtualization in RHEL 9, CentOS, uh, Fedora would be along these same lines as well. And of course, what we're using Rocky Linux. So there we go. Good stuff.